I recently did a poll over on Instagram and the number one topic you all wanted to know about was the recovery process from my breast reduction surgery. I'm going to start off from the very beginning and talk about my recovery from the moment the anesthesia was given to me and then my reaction immediately following waking up from surgery as well. If you're new here, I'm Michelle and I had a breast reduction in February of 2023. It was deemed medically necessary as I went from a size 34I to a 32C and I did have my insurance pay for it. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe because I continue to share my experiences and answer any questions that you have and post about the freedoms that it has allowed me and the confidence boost I've received because of this breast reduction. Going back into the operating room, I was given anesthesia intravenously, which means it was given through an IV in my hand. And I recall as the medicine goes in, I could feel it creep up my arm and then go across my chest and I just slowly faded out. So after I woke up, I would go in and out of consciousness. And the first two things that I remember is that I had to pee extremely bad. And then I had a burning sensation across my whole chest. I remember telling the nurses that I had to pee and they pretty much shoved a bedpan underneath me while I am still in bed. And I don't know if you can picture this, but I am still very groggy, still going in and out of consciousness. I have a little bitty bedpan underneath me trying to pee in it. It was not comfortable at all. I could not hold myself up and it was painful to pee anyways. I learned later that the catheter can cause issues with that, can make it harder to pee, can make it harder to relax your bladder to pee. And so it was very difficult for me to pee and it was only coming out in like little bitty spurts. In the middle of trying to pee on top of this itty bitty bedpan, <laughs> I was telling the nurses that it hurt. I was like, it hurt. It hurts so bad. And so she is continuing to give me different types of pain medication to try and get my pain under control. And nothing at this point was helping. Finally, I did have a nurse come in. She's like, we can't give you any other pain medication. What type of pain are you having? And I was like, it burns. My whole chest is burning. And she was like, oh, that's nerve pain. <laughs> and she's like, let's give you a nerve block to help with the nerve pain. And that's exactly what happened. As soon as she gave me that, I started feeling a million times better. So I was able to finally pee. I was getting my pain under control. And then unfortunately, I started having an allergic reaction to one of the pain meds. We're not sure at this point which one it was because I had kind of a whole slew of things. It wasn't a huge reaction. I just got like a well across my face, across my cheek here. And then my face was really itchy. So then they had to give me some medication to help with the allergic reaction. And I had to stay a couple of hours longer to make sure that it didn't get any worse. So after all of that, after about six hours, I was finally able to go home to rest and recuperate. I did continue to have a sore bladder for the next two days, I believe. And then the following day, I did develop a headache from the anesthesia, which uh, again, I've heard is pretty common. And so that lasted for the first two to three days as well. It wasn't terrible. It was more of like a dull, constant headache. So that was another challenge. Overall, though, by far the easiest surgery recovery I have ever had. I've had three C-sections and my wisdom teeth removed, and this was by far the easiest. And there you have it, the roller coaster of my post-breast reduction recovery. If you've made it this far, I appreciate you sticking around. Please, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up so that I know to continue to create this type of content. And then if you have any questions, make sure you drop them below and I will either answer them or do a video follow up with it. And of course, if you're not subscribed yet, please do so. It helps me out a ton. Until next time.